Now that we understand why we need pom.xml, let's understand a little bit about repositories. Now the figure here shows a very high level view of Maven dependency management. As you can see, this is a public repository. Over here, Maven interacts with repositories that hold artifact and related metadata. Repositories that are typically accessed over the web are considered remote and are maintained by a third party. The default remote repository with which Maven interacts is called Maven Central and it is located at repo.maven.apache.org and uk.maven.org. Maven places the downloaded artifacts in the local repository. Now although the architecture uh, here uh, works with majority of cases, it poses a few problem in enterprise environment. The first problem is that sharing company related artifacts between team is not possible. Because of the security and intellectual property concern, you would not also want to publish your enterprise artifacts on Maven Central. Another problem that concern is and it's a very important one is legal and licensing issue. Your company might want the team only to use officially approved open source software and this architecture would not fit in that model. And the final issue that concern is is the bandwidth and the download speeds. In times of heavy load on Maven Central, the download speeds of Maven artifacts are reduced and this might have a negative impact on your builds and your builds will take longer and longer to complete and run the test cases and deploy in your local repositories. So most enterprise follow the architecture of internal repositories. The internal repository manager acts as a proxy to remote repositories. Because you have full control over your internal repository, you can regulate the type of artifacts allowed in your company. Additionally, you can also push your organization's artifact onto the server, thereby enabling better collaboration between teams. There are several open source man repository manager and uh, some of them are uh, like uh, Sonar type Nexus, Apache Archiva, Artifactory and so on.